a virtual hard drive, is useful because it enables several operating systems to reside on a single PC. There are several benefits to setting up a virtual hard drive, such as testing new software without needing to create a new partition or installing a second hard drive. In order to create a virtual hard drive, you need to access the Quick Access menu. Once you have accessed this, you will need to have a click on Disk Management. Once you are in the Disk Management window, look for the Action button and then click it. This will reveal a drop-down menu, where you need to select the Create VHD option. The next window will prompt you to select exactly where on your PC you wish the VHD to be stored. Once you have decided where to store your VHD, you now need to decide what format you wish to store the VHD as. A standard VHD will support a virtual disk up to 2040GB, where a VHDX will support a virtual disk of up to 6040GB. This option is only available on Windows 8 PCs. Next, choose whether you want a fixed size or a dynamically expanding size, which will grow as data is written to it. With your VHD created, it will appear in Disk Management. Right-click on the disk and select Initialize Disk. When prompted, select Master Boot Record. This is the safest option for the forthcoming step. Once initialized, the disk will need a volume letter assigned. Right-click on the disk space and select New Simple Volume. The familiar wizard will open and do its thing. You will be provided with the option to enter the volume amount you wish to create. Followed by the drive letter for the new VHD. Lastly, navigate to where you stored the VHD and double click on it to mount it. Your VHD will now show up in File Explorer.